Hey everybody, Ben here from the Bonehead Podcast and welcome to Star Player Spotlight. We are looking at all of the star players that have been spoiled in the Blood Bowl 2020 rulebook. We're looking at their stats, their skills, their teams, um, how much they cost and their new special abilities as well. And today we're looking at what has historically been the linchpin of every halfling team known to man, Deep Root Strong Branch. And Deep Root can now play for our teams other than Halflings. Okay, so historically he has been the Halfling star player. Carla, Puggy, yeah, they've, they've competed at times. But you would always look at your Halfling team for League. You'd try and keep that TV down to 600 so you could fit in this guy and a Master Chef. Now, he's actually open to other teams. So, for the teams that actually have someone to throw, so Old World Alliance, Ogre, uh, Human, and Halflings, it gives you that extra thrower. For Dwarf and Ability, it just gives you a massive person to put on the line. So, although it's probably not the most optimal thing, you now can take Deep Root in other rosters as a massive, massive murder piece. So, I don't think it's going to get taken that often by them, but it is still really cool to think actually he can play for other teams now and uh, as you guys will know that means I get to brew up some really interesting rosters because now we have the opportunity to say Deep Root Dwarves. So let's look at exactly what he is and what he does. So 280k makes him one of the most expensive star players out there. Not Morg level at 340 but really really up there. He has dropped by 20k though, he used to be 300 so that's always something. He's always been a very expensive star player He's always been worth it in the team. So, movement two, he is a tree man. However, he does have the timber skill, or timbeer, all right? Another another, another typo there for me. Not as good as a lover, four plus, but I'll take it. Strength seven. Strength seven is just an incredible skill in its own. He is three die blocking everybody that is less than strength four. So, Everybody who's strength 3, so going up against a dwarf team, going up against anybody, he's just going to get 3 die blocks on his own. So, that's massive. Ange 5 plus is rubbish though. So, as a tree, wherever you place him, he's going to move around at speed 2, but if you get marked by anybody, it's going to be a 5 plus dodge roll, which is not going to be beneficial. However, when you've got strength 7 and, spoiler alert, block, and this bad boy, which is horrific, mighty blow plus 2, and yeah, whoever he's getting marked by he's going to get destroyed. Passing 4 plus which is very useful because he is oftentimes going to be throwing somebody and in a halfling team he gives you that third thrower um, and in a human team or an ogre team or something he, he, he's got that option as well. Armor 11 plus which is just insane. So skills wise he comes with block. Strength 7 block, 3 die blocking with that block skill, he's got Lona 4+, plus, which uh, doesn't really matter when you are throwing that many dice, okay? Three dice. You need to roll triple skulls for that to be bad. I feel like I've just challenged Nuffle to curse my dice there, but actually, he is reliable in that regard. Mighty Blow plus 2. We talked about it a lot. We said Mighty Blow plus 2. Oh, that's really good. That kind of counts as Claw plus Mighty Blow. Mighty Blow plus 2 is bigger than it seems. So, spoiler alert, we ran Deep Root in our uh, most recent, as of publishing, a game on our YouTube channel. So, I'll see if I can't link that here somewhere. Uh, do go give it a watch. It's Skaven versus Ian's Halfling in Warhanam, Warhanam, uh, Warhanam Hanum. He's got his uh, Halfling team out. I think we used Deep Root wrong. I think Ian told me he was movement three. So, Ian, disgraceful. I should have done this video beforehand. Um, but Mighty Blow plus two is just monstrous, especially against Armor 7 Skaven. Because if you, you break an armor on a roll of an 8 plus anyway, which means it's plus two to the injury roll, and I, I'm pretty sure he removed a few players throughout the course of the game. So Strength 7, Mighty Blow, 2, Block. This is what I mean about some of those teams like Dwarves or something wanting to take him, because having this guy on your on your line of scrimmage he is just going to murder stuff. And yeah, get a couple of grabs in there to feed him and you just got a bit of a machine. Anyway, let's move on. Stand firm. He's a tree. Fair enough. Strong arm. He's a tree. Fair enough. That's going to help with your passing. Thick skull. 
is what is needed when you are only armor 11. Throw teammate and Timbia. All right, Timbia, Timbia, whatever you want to go with. Plus one for each uh, friendly player around can help get him up on his feet, which will be useful because that is one of the uh, vulnerabilities of the tree is that low agility, that low movement means he's not going anywhere. Um, if he ends up with the ball, you're in trouble as well, although at that point it's a bit of a handoff. Then again, pass four plus, <laughs> it's not bad. So there are two elements to Deep Root. He's always been that third thrower, that third tree for a halfling team. Now he can be that three die strength seven mighty blow two blocker for a bunch of different teams as well as being able to support your stunty game. That makes him pretty jolly fearsome. Um, let's have a look at his reliable skill, which is if Deep Root fumbles a throw teammate action, the player that was to be thrown will bounce as normal but will automatically land safely. So again, like I said, he is there and he will support your stunty throw game if he fumbles, and he is fumbling on a on a one, right? If he fumbles, the guy's going to be okay, which will be massive if he is going to throw your ball carrier. If you're going to go for a throw teammate, you're not going to end it in the square you are. <laughs> you could always miss land up the pitch and die. That's just always part of the strategy of stunted coaches. But Deep Root, having that reliable will actually help him. And that's not once per game, that's every single time. So if he's throwing like mad, um, that it's going to keep your guys alive a little bit longer. So Deep Root, Strength 7, monster, slow, but also a bit of a trebuchet for players. Now it's miniature time. So if you have inherited a lot of money, if you've uh, done a lot of business deals, you've created the new PayPal, you could afford to buy this miniature from Forgeworld. It is currently 40 billion pounds. Now it's a 40 pound miniature from Forgeworld. So you're looking at 45 or something for postage. It is a huge model to be fair. And it comes with a billion pieces as well. The paint job here makes it look less um, glamorous than it is in person. So uh, Rick, one of our local players who now lives in France, so less local than he used to be, uh, has this has got this model. And we were all really surprised at the club to see the size of it and uh, just the detail. It is a really lovely model. If you are a painter and you want a project or you just want something to make something special something to keep then you can go this route for forge world but naturally we've got a couple of alternatives for you so you may not have heard of this company before it's windsor chog a uk based company that do some of my favorite star player miniatures and they have got an option of two different treemen okay now i think if you've already seen the grack miniature this uh, over here on the left hand side is birch which is the treeman i sort of said you could pick Birch up to represent Grack if you wanted a, a, a halfling themed thing without an ogre. This guy would make a wonderful deep root. Either of them would. And I think they're only £15 from Windsor Chog, so about £20 with postage. I never actually got this one. I do have Birch and it's a lovely miniature. I've loved all the models I've got from Windsor Chog, so can recommend. They are chunky, they are of appropriate size, and they will give you something different to go for your team. That said, you might be able to get the Games Workshop trees if they ever, ever, ever release. But if they don't release, I cannot recommend these enough. So this is from Warlord Games um, Lords of Erewhon range. It's their Halfling Tree Men. I have six of these for my Tree Man team, which you uh, could have seen if you've watched um, Seven Super Series, Series 2. The Tree Man team runs these. I've added some spikes and some OSL to make it look cool. But these are all absolutely blooming lovely models and they are a ridiculous price. Uh, I think they are 15, no, they're 1750 now for three trees. So if you are running a halfling team and you don't have your trees yet because Games Workshop haven't released them yet, come along Games Workshop, let's get this rolling. One box of this and you are covered because you got two trees plus deep root immediately. That said, if you have got a couple of other friends that want trees, brilliant. But quite frankly, for less than a price of one star player from Forge World, you can get three trees. You could use one as deep root. You can convert one up and use it as Grack. It doesn't even matter. You can just have trees. They are very cool models. They are very detailed. The size is perfect for Blood Bowl. I put mine on 40s because I'm a heretic. But um, they would fit on 32s, I think. So Warlords, they are out of stock at the moment, which is a pain. Um, but 
when they come back in stock, do grab them because three trees and each individually really good looking models. Uh, and they form up nicely, let me tell you, having six of them in a line. Uh, and the Tree Man team from Special, uh, from Secret League, or just I'm going to run them as an Ogre team. Six trees, man. Isengard shakes. So that wraps up Deep Root Strong Branch. 280 makes him very expensive, but Strength 7 Block Mighty Blow makes him really offensive. And he does have that cheeky 4 plus pass throw teammate ability with Strong Arm and his reliable skill. So whether you want a trebuchet for halflings um, or just someone to murder stuff on the line, Deep Root will get it done if you can afford him. So we've seen some other star players that may fill that role slightly better. I am a big believer in Grack and Crumbleberry over Deep Root now, um, but quite frankly, you can pick up those Winter Chog trees or the Warlord of Ero uh, Warlords of Erewhon trees and just use one of those as Grack and you get an extra half link for 250 instead of 280. But Grack is not strength 7, so this guy is it's terrifying. Please do check out the game that I played against Ian with Skaven and Halflings because you will see how deep root rolls. I do think we used him as movement 3, so bear that in mind. But I really don't think deep root did anything uh, mobile. So I don't think I knocked him down and I don't think he went for a massive walk. So I don't think it really affected the game at all. You will see Mighty Blow Plus 2 being uh, used and you'll see a lot of throw teammate as well. So do check it out if you want to really see how deep root runs. Anyway, let me know in the comments below what you think of Deep Root in Blood Bowl 2020 and uh, which star player you want us to cover next because we are probably about halfway now and uh, I'm having a lot of fun. So I'm going to sign off and I will see you guys soon. Thanks very much for watching.